Alright guys, I've been getting a ton of requests to make this video, so why not? I'm gonna make it. So I'm gonna teach you how to properly burn PS2 games and put them onto a disc and play them on your PS2 system. Now, um, you can either use them to burn games or to all, you know, to get them illegally or, uh, back up any games that you have that may be scratched up or broken or whatnot, so you can play it again. Either one's fine, really. Uh, so the things you will be needing are a computer or laptop which is able to burn DVDs. You will need some DVD plus or minus R's. I'm using plus R here, I'm using an HP one. Sony also works as well. And staples. And you'll also need a PS2 system that has been modded. And if you do not have your system modded, I've created uh, two guides in my channel on how to soft mod both the fat and the slim so if you need any of those just check that out okay so the first thing you want to do is make a folder called ps2 that's where you're going to put everything that you're going to get such as the games and other stuff and you're going to want to open up your internet browser and download winrar using rarlabs.com and sorry if you can if you guys cannot understand me that well i'm, I'm wearing my retainers and it's kind of, it's a little bit different to talk with, so I may say things a little bit weird. Alright, so you're just going to download the appropriate WinRAR for your computer. And then once you've done that, you're going to get Memento Disk Patcher. Uh, you will be using this to patch up all your games. Let's see, enter, alright, and so once you click on the first link, you have to enter a code. So, just go ahead and do that. And you'll need to download it from this rapid share file. And once you've done that, you're gonna open up WinRAR. Once it's done downloading, you're gonna open it up. I'm just gonna wait for this to uh, open. So if you guys hear the TV in the background, I'm watching TV right now. All right. So you should get something like this. Actually, no, a folder like this. So once you uh, click that, you'll get all four files that you will be needing. Th these are here. You're going to highlight all of them. Oh, whoops. Right click and hit extract the specified folder. And I don't know why I can't do it, but what you're going to do is uh, I actually have another one downloaded right here. Alright. And you can either run the application right here. Or you can, um, well, which is what I did. I extracted it to my PS2 folder. So, uh, just wait and you're going to extract it to PS2 folder. Hit OK. And you should have those files on your PS2 folder now. Alright, next thing you want to get is, um, so I'm going to actually be doing, uh, the people who do torrents first, because I'll be showing you how to do it for both people who use torrents and people who do not use torrents. So the first part will be for people who do use torrents, so if you do not have already, you should download uTorrent. Like I said, this is only for people who are using torrents to download their games. Hit free download and you're going to need to install that to your computer. And then you're going to need to get image burn. This is for everybody, people who do not use torrents as well as for people who do. You need to download this. So go to imageburn.com, hit download, and hit the first uh, mirror and then hit download now and you'll need to um, put that well install it to your computer and now you're going to uh, once you've installed that you're going to next go to get your games and like I said I'm, I'll be doing torrents first so this is for people who are doing torrents if you want to figure out for people who do not use torrents then just skip ahead in the video because I'll be showing both ways alright so I'm back to people who use torrents just go to piratebay.org, all links will be in the description. Put in whatever game you want, I'll be using Final Fantasy X2 as an example. And then hit pirate search, just put NTSC or whatever your region is. Hit pirate search. And they'll give you a bunch of uh, stuff to, uh, where you can download. It'll give you the game itself, uh, its region, 
um, the size, which is right here, 3.71 gigs. And on the right side, you'll see how many people are seating. Um, the more people to seating, the best, all well, the better. As you can see, it's one for 82. This is Final Fantasy 10, which is what I'm not going to use. So, what you're going to do is you're going to click on it, whichever one you're going to download. And a good thing to you to do is to um, just look at the comments to see if it works or not. And then hit download this torrent. And what's going to happen is that you should get something like this. I'm, I'm going to be using this as an example. So um, you once you download it, you're going to get a torrent file. And I'm just going to use this for example, Conduit 2. You should get something like this. So say whatever game you're going to download and immediately uTorrent should open up if you have it set to open up immediately which is what I do and what pretty much recommended so um yeah I'm just gonna open up uTorrent just to show you what it would look like so um yeah uTorrent takes a little while to open cause so it's a kind of like a big application I guess you can say takes a little while to open it but um what's gonna happen is that once you open it up uh there's gonna be a little window that shows all the files that will be downloaded into uTorrent just hit ok and all the files will start downloading so once it's uh done downloading just uh just wait till I get there so now it's time for people who do not use torrents uh you can use google google is your friend um, just type on there whatever game you're going to do. I'm doing Final Fantasy X2. And then after the game title, you're going to put PS2, ISO, and then put SNESorama. This is a forum site that has a wide variety of games to use. So just hit whichever one fits best. North America tells you the size. And you're going to click on it. And you're going to scroll down until you start seeing the files. These are the files right here. You're going to need to download each file separate so what you do is that you highlight it you copy it you open up a new tab and you paste it onto the URL then hit enter and then you just have to download each uh, each file one by one until it's all done downloading and another good site to use is emu paradise um this will be in the description box below this is just a uh a um a master list of all the games that they have so that's another good site to use it's the same way just download all this all the files and then once you download the files um you should get something like this once well actually once you downloaded all the files i'm just going to open up one more again um for people who use uTorrent um you may uh, get either a folder and once you open up the file the folder it'll show all the files are just one big file you know let's say uh, here this is a good example here so um you may either get this in a folder and then once you open it all the files will be there or it'll just be the folder and then just one file or it'll just be all the files but with no folder if that makes any sense so um, if you get something like this you know where there's a ton of files what you're gonna do is you're going to go to the last one and you're gonna hit you're gonna hold shift and then click the button and it'll highlight all of it so that you can right click it and hit extract to specify folder and if it's just one file you just uh, right click that and just extract it and you're gonna extract it to your PS2 folder there's PS2 and then just hit OK and it'll extract and then once it extracts you should get something like this and since I'm using Final Fantasy X2 um hang on a second that was the wrong folder there we go um hang on alright you should get something like this just open up the Final Fantasy X2 folder Yeah, my computer's running a little bit slow today. Alright, so you should get something like that. It'll just compress into one big file. And then what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to open up Memento, which we put on the PS2 folder. 
to just open up the PS2 folder. Mine's in the folder. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but that's what I did. And you're gonna run Memento Dispatcher EXE. And then you can hit Patch ISO Image. Wait for it to load. I have a lot of tabs on my uh, on my internet browser, so it's, it takes a little while. There we go. And then you just find the game that you downloaded, and then you just hit open, and it'll say image has been patched, but mine's already patched. And the next thing you're going to want to do then is open up image burn. You should already have this installed onto your computer. Let's just wait a little bit. And you're gonna hit write image file to disk. You're gonna click this little folder here and you're going to find the game that you just patched and hit open. And it should show you the uh the, the source of that the game and the label and whatnot. And this is when you grab your DVD, you open up the disk tray, put in your game, and you're gonna shut it, I'm not really gonna do it. But once you shut it, a uh, good speed to write at is four times, and then you're gonna, then once image burn reads the disk, you're gonna hit this illuminate, you're gonna hit this button where it says write. It's, it will be illuminated, and it'll start burning onto uh, it'll, and it'll start burning to the DVD. And once it burns onto the DVD, which I have right here, here's my copy of Final Fantasy X2. I actually lost the game. How? I have no idea. But um, I burned myself a back up here. Alright, so once it's done burning, you should get something like this. Um, I just labeled it. So this is when you go ahead and put it into your PS2 system. So let's go ahead and do so. Just gonna turn on the light. There we go, just so you guys can see. Just gonna put that down. Turn it on. Go ahead and put in the game. Okay, and you should have ESR running on your PS2 already. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. Actually, no, it's fine. I don't need to do that. Alright, 3MC boot should start. And ESR should start automatically. So what you're gonna do, you know, just there we go, you can see a lot better now. Alright, so you're gonna hit launch C D V D. Turn that up a little bit. And then once you hit that you get a little bit of uh weird colors. That's normal, that means that it worked. At least for the most part it did. And the game should start up. As you can see it's working. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh then just turn the TV lower. Alright, pick the memory card and the game starts up like normal and you can now play uh burned backup games on your PS2 system. This works for both slims and fats by the way. Doesn't matter. As you can see I'm playing right now. And that's how you do it. That's how you play burn games on your PS2. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any problems or questions at all, please feel free to comment or send me a message on my YouTube page. Uh, subscribe, and thanks a lot for watching.